Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 13 of F123 Career Mode. Today it is the Belgian Grand Prix, which as you know in real life was the last Grand Prix before the summer break. And it is a dreaded sprint. I'll just make sure that my difficulty has stayed at 108 by the way. Yes, that is absolutely excellent because of course we won five Grand Prix this year, this season, this year, yeah, it is this year, whatever. Let's see what Aaron Eva can do briefly in the three days that we got. We're doing everything kind of P apart from a fit fuel efficiency. I think we'll um, get those heat dampers sorted. And just those, ooh, getting them for the Dutch Grand Prix. Yeah, it would make some benefit, so we'll just crack on to it. Right, I'll see you after first practice. Man remembers to put a good PU in. My second best PU, because I'm going to leave the best one for Monza. Unless I get penalties at some point, in which case, we will see. Right. Qualifying. Yes, I am totally organised and ready for this. So organised, I can even talk on microphone. And on this microphone. Right, Belgium, 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 Belgium. Yeah, we're running 2 0 wins. Oh, here we go. It's going to be a big mistake, but we're committing. But watch this, it's going to be a purple one. And the second is Ocon. Oh, Marmondi was terrible. I am expecting to hurt in this middle sector a lot. With Monza wins. Okay. Well, that's us starting last. Here he comes in position last. Woohoo! But we have got a BS sprint with the 22 format to make up some positions. It's got Pestry up there. That's realistic. It's Friday, Crofty. Just because you want to see West Ham play on a Sunday and have F1 on a Saturday. Anyway, we're still being posted rivally. See you after FP2 for the sprint. Right here, we have managed to get all the resource points possible. No any goodies on development boost, but looks like Ocon's done that for us. So, well done, Esteban. I was just saying about Illis Lavenier, which is French for he is the future. At least proving it on resource points. Right. Sprint time! Well, the weather is not looking good today. We're expecting the downpours to continue into today's sprint. This will make for some very tricky conditions for all the teams. Maybe. Maybe. And he's not getting a track guide, but Sector 1's got La Sauce. Erudge, Radion, the Camel Strait, Sector 2's got some corners, Sector 3, some other corners, and the runs at bus stop. Clean a very nice view area at Radion. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks. Hope you enjoyed that. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and Oscar Piastri completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Perez, Leclerc. Sergeant and the scientist. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. Technically, it's not pole position because in the, this is by 2022 rules, and 2022 rules mean the pole sitter takes the pole here. 
So if it's Verstappen's pole, which is not brilliant when I am last a second home Grand Prix. Bristol on a Grand Prix of being so hmm not in real life. We've got that relief of having points on the board finally, so let's keep that form up and get another top ten finish today, please. Well <laughs> can with a zero or Stanitz is with a zero. Oh come on game, you can do me better than that. Right. Well that's the strategy I guess. Weather report. We anticipate an end to this rain in around five minutes. Inters seem to be the fastest tire for now. If we get a green white checkered and I'm absolutely nowhere. Maybe. We're learning the gears, so let's go through them all if you can. Also, I should probably say this crane has actually got something interesting. Because it's going to have a changed grade from end of season one to beginning of season two. Unlike real life, where all 20 drivers that did Abu Dhabi do are scheduled to do Bahrain next year. Should the man in front of me have to see it, Williams? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, for me, he probably just enough for a second season, but he's got to raise his game, and I think he's probably been told that. But there are more deserving people of that seat. And you got to say, the lack of cars in F1+, plus F2 stupid champions man, see Moto2 and NASCAR's Xfinity Series, for why? It's idiocy. But yeah, I mean, he's got his chance. He's got to take it. Let's see if he can start proving it with AI self here. In his Belgian sprint. But the first test. Oh, is it pretty much the information lap? Weather report. No, it hasn't. It looks like the weather's going to dry up in about five minutes' time. Inters look like the best tyre for now. Yeah. I'm only going to gamble if it's a green white check, i.e. a safety car, immediately. The hell class? Oh, straight away it's at sequence. We are going for the Belgian Grand Prix Sprint. Oh, I love the AI dive bomb. And it's been brought to you back to front five lap challenge I've designed here today, obviously. With P12. Eight positions a corner. I like that run rate. <laughs> that was nearly a Magnuson style crash from 2016. That was scary. Don't know what else going on in front. Some there was a kerfuffle of a sort. Yeah, the car's definitely not suited for this weather. I've not far this uh, three, have I? It's a man rain for a race as well. Some point. I've got absolutely nothing in this middle sector. Yeah, I've got absolutely zero. Oh, cheeky little warning. Oh, second one for cutting a rouge. But what do you think I'm doing, Mark? Shut up, Mark. Coffee. And that's a move on Sonoda down the camel. Even inside a purple sector. I'll tell you something. This guy is not, not feeling nice. It's very sketchy. Right, I was looking for rear for the car being to buy towards the rear and brakes, then I move it rearwards. Why would I do that? Oh wow, the tire wear. That is ridiculous. <laughs> it's not fully wet, and plus, I must be doing something with these tires. 
That's a left flick Blanchiman, otherwise risking a penalty. So we must be holding all these lot up. Because I'm not that much faster than them. I'm probably much slower. Yeah, the downforce levels hurt me in this weather. Because I can't do a Rouge and Blanche... Not Blanche, on. Radion. Correctly. That's Radion, actually. How do I not know? And if he even walks on track. Pushing, 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 pushing. And the range just about to cease. It's getting quite light now. By the way, I've also sat in the camel straight. Another wonderful experience you gotta do. Yeah, it stopped raining. It's definitely into to finish though. Oh, Stroh's closing in. By the time where Stroh's DRS has been enabled. I'm definitely gonna need to think about my battery use now. The track's ramping up now. It's not too far off a slip either. Well, that sums it up! It's all about, really, can I stay ahead of Alvin? And the answer is an emphatic no, looking at the gap! Why did I just try Embraer Verage and Radion like I did? From the convincing window hungry to this. Yeah, and also, I need to work on the car's drag. Really minimalist downforce, best power unit, and struggling a straight line a little. Work to be done. And that's likely going to be P13. And it is, because it's in the steering wheel. Oh, that was shocking! And that is not deserved. Let's have a look then at the driver's standings. Today's performance means that Max Verstappen <laughs> has <laughs> <now> a <laughs> spot in the driver's yeah, He does. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action. And until then, goodbye. And it's for us in the constructors more vulnerable to those Merc powered teams. Right. I'll save that. Race time. Please let me better. Fact, while I'm here, that drive's getting works on. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he'll start from pole position. And Oscar Piastri completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Norris. Perez, Leclerc, Russell, Ocon, Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, Stroll, Albon, The Scientist, Hello, Sonoda, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Joe, and Logan Sun. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. Ant, it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Hmm. Mark literally has no message for me. That's interesting. Rain at end. Options would be a stretch. Look, it worked. 
That's some Grand Prix already this year. This season. It worked at Spain. It worked at Austria. And so that red caused complications. Frankly, where I am, I got naught to lose. Let's give it a good go. Weather report. Okay, radar is clear. Weather is looking good for now. Dry's definitely seem like the fastest tire at the moment. Bollocks! Best placement there, mate. Let's try and get a good launch as the race starts. Despite all that, though, what a start! Wow! Where did that come from? I'm impressed! That's where the wing level should kick in a bit. And it does! Let's not have a Nico hit me moment, George. As he fights Lewis off. Speaking of uh, Nico hit me. P7, that's a good start. Six places, despite the fact I was on primes. And everyone else around me, apart from Leclerc, on quali. Alright, let's focus now for the rest of the race. That's my intention now. I've got to look after these tyres if I want to get them to rain. If the inter where I was to go by, I need to be very careful. Oh, Lewis nearly leaves it behind me. But yeah, the lack of downforce really hurting me in that middle sector again. The sound went a bit weird there. Through the dip. Yeah, that middle sector occurs to me, because look, I think I'm just slow, to be honest. It's going to be a hard race. Especially if we go to the bus stop that deep. I mean, in one and a half seconds slower than Verstappen. That's definitely not just tight, Elsa. <laughs> That's slide through my Monday. I'll we'll have to make that uh, the thumbnail. Unless something else happens. Oh, that would be interesting. Meanwhile, Kid and Country not happy with me holding up. Russell and L Hamilton, the way I am. I wouldn't blame them, frankly. They would easily get down the road if I got out of it. Those mercs are so desperate to pass. Here comes George! Wow, he's mugging around the outside of the fan, you chicken! Fair play! And I have to give the way to Lewis into Stavolo. Oh dear. But Kinder and Country are a bit happier. I hope they can use them to assist. As they don't hold me up themselves. Oh, they hold me up. So, here we go. That was a tricky one. But what a cut back on the blessed one. Oh! I 
I think I'm just gonna blast by George now. Yep, goodbye. But then I'm just gonna hold him up from Lacombe all the way to Stavolo. I mean, he's even figure on the outside of Rivage. Fire is sick, Rep. Hmm. That could be fun come the end. The uh, weather report. No safety guard for Bottas, apparently. Not anything. Weather report. That's what I wanted to know. Yeah. Judging by the map, my face is sort of in the middle of nowhere. I should really be twelve. Which is actually where the Alpine would be in real life if if no one DNF. I want to use the ears as a poo on. Oh my goodness! The tires are a little part of fun yet. I think the rear there may have actually hit the deck and stalled the aero. How am I still in this? It's getting gloomier and darker. Weather report. So we're expecting rain in about 10 to 15 minutes. Dry it's come a bit sooner than that. Or I'll end up paying like 13 or 14. Oh, going to George a chance. The inside of Fania. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, George. George. Why? 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 That's me. Oh, oh, oh. What on earth is going at? Are they exit seven there? Oh, we're going to do this round blood shimmer now, are we? Are we? Are we? I remember when Stappen did that to NASA. I saw it with my own two eyes. Oh, and I get a nudge from George just for good measure. Now, crucially, I'm going to come out. Stappen's going to come out behind me. There he comes out the pits now. If. If this one last stop strategy works, but uh, it's going to be very hard to keep him behind. If the Merkin Warren Qual is, is considering having a look at the Fanny Chicane, what do you think a fresh option tired Red Bull going to do? Oh, he's having a look again. Do not squeeze me, George! Good boy. What on earth? Maybe wait until after Stavlo to deploy battery. Verstappen's cursing himself now. No at the moment. Just focus on the driving. Yeah, he's stuck. <laughs> and honestly, I'm going to have to fight him very hard because of the championship situation. There he is behind. Skulking. Now, I did have a good gap before he came in to that train. 
but it does look like Paris is much closer now. Pi so are Piastri and Ocon. Rather behind. Weather report. Okay, expect to see some rain about 10 to 15 minutes from now. Okay, I need a bit sooner, frankly. I was going to get Peter Center, and I may as well disrupt for Stappen's rhythm. If not else. Takes Leaf out of the Moto 3 2023 Qatar Grand Prix. Might do a Leopard Bikes method! Oh, I think I have! Pettis goes through the both of us! I'm going to be very aggressive with Max because I have to be! And we in Britain remember Happy W2021, of course! Oh, I've done to him what he did to NASA! <laughs> That's going to give me DRS. Of course I want to win, but it's more important I beat Max. So please, piss it down, now! Am I going to catch Paris by the end of the camel? Now the Red Bull's good in a straight line. You all know that. But watch this. Oh. So I've unsaid into him. Third it go. Pep set to one. Oh, my side side for free. Mom, it's in the mouth. Oh, dear. Am I going to let my stopping fruits in on him? I'm going to find his foul. Oh, that was. Oh. That were naughty! That were naughty! That were naughty! Oh, Paris goes, wow! I was not expecting that! Around P1. Just a bit nasty and aggressive this championship, but I felt like I had to. Weather report. That's a warning. For stuff and damage, he must have got damage. Okay, Paris is gone. Right, can I keep Paris behind? Weather report. Weather report. It's not happening. I might have to go Operation 44 Night Time of a staff in here. I know it's not season finale, but I may have no choice. That rear is getting sketchy even without using overtake through Stavolo. Oh, Ocon's having a, making a move on his old mate, Max. Oh, that that would feel so good for us if I knock on him in real life. Oh, wow. That's like Mark Marcus when he used to be. Used to be on a MotoGP bike. That was a Honda. Don't know what I was going to say there. Now, if Ocon does get ahead of Piastri, I will let him by. P1 
Perez. Wow, the gap is pulled already. Weather report. Come on. It's not going to come. It's not going to come. Or at least soon enough to make a tangible effect. Now I'd come out. Well, last at runners. Oh, oh, there goes Piastri. Well, that'll come by. Play team game. Verstappen having a look on Piastri. Gets a bit dicey behind. This car's coming. There's a meme lord behind a pair of them. Looks like it wasn't Verstappen who got damaged. He looks okay. Try and give him the dirty air to allow Piastri to come through. Oh, my right elbow is going to be a bit itchy. We don't like that. Verstappen's ahead of Piastri again. May involve me deploying the operation. Like Lorenzo, Lewis Hamilton, give me all your inner powers. Weather report. I need it to come down very fast and rapid. Think the 2008 Belgian Grand Prix. But with 1998 levels of rain from the from the moment it starts to rain. Right, I may need to start being immoral. Ooh. Like Mark Marquez is Honda that's just abandoned. Again! Why does Mechanic Escape think, you know what I wanna be? I wanna be a Moto GP bike. I need it to do it pretty rapidly, I tell you. Yeah, I've definitely messed up here. Because cars were battling in the first phase of race, they've caught me. Ooh, poor exit. You know what? I'm going to have to let Piastri go. Cause it's time to deploy the operation. Oh, I'm running very deep. And there goes the meme lord. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Yeah, I have to come in this lap, of course, the tyres. To try and block the staff in against Science Junior. Uh, this is going to be fun. It beat me with DRS. Oh, it's going to be red Jim. <laughs> Unbelievable! Oh, it's going to be a scene duck now! Watch! And it's raining too! Oh, here comes Blast! <laughs> Set intermediate tyres! No, not option. Set intermediates! I think it's Sam. Yes, it has. The King of Country, go, Lewis, just go. Oh, 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 that was so naughty. I think in real life there would be a few pedals coming this way. Oh, he's being mugged by Leclerc now. Oh, another snap. Yeah, this hasn't gone well, this race. And things are going a little desperate. 
Right, I'm gonna have to come in, so here we go. And I think it is slightly too early. Whoa, 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 whoa! What happened there? I'm just gonna finish last on road. Oh dear. It's all well and good, but that was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Oh. I don't know what he what okay, It surprised me if the car just vaulted into the barrier. Like the rear, when the rear just snapped on Zonta and Villeneuve in 1999 qualifying. Yeah, Inter's the wrong call. Perez wins. Unrealistic. He wins a Grand Prix. At this stage of the season. Well, that were dreadful. I think the less said about this, the better. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Well done, Esteban. No, also realised. I shot myself in foot. Paris is one of my rivals. To at the team. Hmm. Were because for the bigger game though. So Sailor V, whatever will be will be. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. So let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Not that many. Incredible day of racing. Who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, there was a lot of incredible driving out there today. But if I had to pick someone, it's got to be Sergio Perez. Fantastic driving. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the He disagrees with the game. Further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. <laughs> I mean... It's not time in career mode. Since the finish 19, you've been a Grand Prix. Ew, dear. I mean, yeah. We'll run away from that as quickly as we can. And leave it there. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Apart from Billy, obviously. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye. Ooh, next Grand Prix is an away Grand Prix.